Good day. My name is Oluwa Kaode Alonge. I work with Workforce Group. I'm uh, the business manager for outsourcing. Today I want to talk to you about how to increase your business productivity using outsourcing. And what is outsourcing, you might ask. Um, outsourcing is a business concept where a company um, assigns some or all of its non-core business to another company to deliver service for it in that context. Usually that uh, business that it outsources to is a business who focuses on that aspect. That's their specialty. They build competence in that aspect of service for a long time. So um, what we're talking about is how you can outsource a bit of your non-core business uh, to ensure that you are as productive as you can be. Uh, in, in time past, it was the practice for most businesses to own everything about their business. So you have an airline, uh, it owns the, the aircraft, it owns um, the, the, every staff that works there, it owns everybody that cleans the place, the cleaners, the drivers, the buildings, and everything about the um, service, it owns them. Yeah, so outsourcing allows you to increase productivity um, by um, allowing another company to take care of those things that are not the core of your business. So a bank, for example, is in business to multiply money, to create money, to lend money. So it's the fact that a bank is bringing in money, collecting deposits, um, means that it is creating liability, really. And so the act of collecting the money and creating liability is not the core of the bank. What's the core of the bank is its ability to multiply that money by lending it out and making money from the interest that, it's, that the lenders um, pay when uh, returning the, the, the funds. That's the core of, of banking. And so a, a bank will naturally um, outsource the tellers or uh, the drivers or the cleaners, uh, the administrators and everybody that is not part of the core business uh, of the bank. Uh, or you go to a company that's, that does um, an hoteling company, for example, an hospitality company, uh, where the business of the hospitality company is to ensure that the customers who come there um, find the experience in the place um, fantastic. So you want to make sure that the manager is core uh, you, 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 everybody that has to do with the core experience of the customers is core to the business. But again, you have support services, people that are in the back, back room, the cleaners, the washers, the um, gate men, the drivers, and so forth. Many of these people are usually outsourced. And what does outsourcing give you? What advantage does outsourcing give you? It allows you to focus on what is most important to your business while allowing people who have built expertise in that area of service uh, to deliver that service for you without any form of distraction. So that's all that they do. From morning to night, that is all that they do. And so because of the focus that they put to it, they are able to deliver more quality in any given circumstance. That's what outsourcing basically is. Now I'm talking about how you can, through outsourcing, increase the amount of productivity that you're able to deliver as a business. So for example, you um, want to build 15, yeah, 15 hotels, you know, in the next three years, right? And some people will do that by acquiring everything that has to do with the project from A to Z, um, buying the land and getting staff and building everything for themselves from scratch. Uh, some other smart people will partner. They will look for people who have been in the industry for some time to provide some aspect of the resources that is needed to deliver on that project. And so they don't need to own everything. They may own the land, but they can partner with a development company, for example, to build the skyscraper and look for a revenue sharing formula to use to ensure that everybody goes on smiling. Um, outsourcing is the new partnership. That's the 24th century smart way of partnering with people to make your business profitable. And uh, so today I want to talk about how outsourcing allows you to increase your productivity um, 
by focusing on three major things that, has, that define productivity. Number one is quality, uh, number two is time, and number three is the result, the result you get from everything that you do. And outsourcing is a fantastic opportunity to pay more attention to quality in every aspect of your business. So you are in any form of business, you want to f focus most on the things that you are good at. In those areas, you probably have unquestioned competency. You are able to deliver in those areas in ways that people cannot match you. And that's not contestable. I mean, you should only go into business in areas that you have competency in. That's a fact. But you will notice that there are areas of that business that you don't really have much competency in, but they are necessary to run that business effectively. And so you shouldn't have to build competency in those areas also. That will amount to uh, putting too much um, wood into the fire, right? And so will we'll unnecessarily stretch you. So you want to allow yourself breathing space by focusing on what is core to you and then partnering with competent organizations to deliver those other non-core areas of the service or of the business that you need to succeed. So what does outsourcing do in this area? Um, for you to ensure that you have quality in the engagements you, you put out there, in the engagements you get into, the outsourcing engagements you get into, you want to ensure that you determine, predetermine what quality means to you. So say you want to list for your outsourcing partner the things that quality, uh, quality means to you. And in many cases, quality means convenience. People want to be able to access the service in a convenient way. Uh, it's comfortable for them. They are able to do exactly what they want to do when they want to do it. It's the availability and accessibility of the service that you are offering to them. That's what convenience is. Um, today's customer doesn't want stress. It should be very easy, very fast, um, very, um, very accessible. Very, your service must be very accessible to people in a very easy way. The second thing about quality you want to also focus on is reliability. How reliable is the service that the um, partner you want to engage is providing to you? How reliable is he? Or are they? Uh, have they been in the market for some time? It's reliability talks to the ability to perform a service dependably, consistently, and accurately, right? You are able to do exactly what you said you, said you would do, are you able to do it um, consistently, you are able to do it accurately, and people trust you, you are dependable, you know, at all times in providing that service. The third quality that you want to look at for in your partner, your outsourcing partner, is responsiveness. How responsible, I mean, how responsive is your partner when you have issues? Because there will be issues, right? There will always be issues. When you have issues, how do they respond to it? How, how much time does it take them to even know that you have issues? And how do they respond? Do they become defensive or do they help you look for solutions, right? So how responsive is the partner? That's the willingness of the service provider to help customers in unusual situations and to deal with the problem, to find a solution to the problem. The, your service partner must be able to find a solution to the problem. That is how you know that you have a good service partner. Yes, and then you, you also need a service partner that has speed. I'll talk a little more about it when I'm talking about um, it in the, in the broader context of productivity, speed. Today's customer needs speed. And so a service provider that will service you and cater to your outsourcing need must have the speed to deliver what you are requiring. Sometimes uh, you are in situations where you just need it right now. A good service partner is somebody who can help you achieve that goal of doing what you need to do at the right time and get it right the very first time he attempts. That's speed, speed. I'll talk more about that when I'm talking about time. Now, the, the, the next quality you need to look at for 
in your service partner is assurance. 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 Yeah. Um, now, not David O's assurance, but assurance. Assurance is still assurance. Anyway, because you want to give people assurance and you want to give them um, um, accolade, right? But accolade is better than. I mean, assurance is better than accolade. So yeah, you want somebody that will give you assurance. Somebody who knows what he's talking about, exhibits a, a personality that is confident of what he's talking about. He's, he knows everything about the this, this subject. He's not a novice to the subject. He's not just there because he, is, he, he wants to make money, but he's there because he's able to solve the problem. He knows everything about the problem. He's been there, done that, right? He's been there, done, done that. Somebody that inspires confidence uh, that you can outsource to and then you can go to sleep. He takes care of everything and does exactly what you want him to do. That is very important to find in your outsourcing partner. The next thing I want to talk about is courtesy. Courtesy. Um, personality. Um, attitude. Yeah, so your service provider should be somebody who should be a, a, a company that whose employees have the right attitude. Um, great attitude. Uh, courteous to customers, even when there is a problem. They know how to speak. They are, they are, they are, they are, they have tact. They know what to say, when to say it, how to say it, how to package messages, and how to behave in all situations. Courtesy. Yeah. So that's one other thing you want to find, you want to see in your service provider. The next thing I want to talk about is tangibles. Tangibles. Um, so there are some things that go along with the service provi provision when somebody is providing you service. There are some add-ons that come with it. Okay, so how do they package themselves? Um, how, do they, how do they write their letters? How do their staff look? Um, how do they dress? What's the content of their, well, what's the content of their character like? Um, how do they... How do they communicate? Um, what kind of what kind of um, timelines do they work with? Um, how mindful are they of your business? How close do they make your, themselves to your business? How much are they? How proactive are they? Right? How proactive uh, proactive are they? Um, what is their own internal system? Does the system, is the system organized? Do they have an organized system that allows them to provide the services to you? Some little things that seem not to matter, but at the end of the day, become the subject of the matter. And then lastly, I want to talk about consistency. Consistency. So the service provider you want to do business with is somebody who is not just new to the market, but somebody who has been in the market for some time. So you want to, um, you want to, Put your business in the hands of somebody who will not mess you up and the way to know that somebody will not mess you up is where the person has been tested and uh, have been become trusted and that comes with time so have they spent time in the business have they earned um, their, their their platform their say you want to um, outsource to people who are consistent about the quality of service that they provide consistently they do it consistently morning afternoon night anytime and it's not just one person it's not just the owner of the business or the top management it's everybody in the organization doing the same thing living up to the same level of quality and of service and of commitment to your business that is the kind of service provider that you should pro you should partner with okay so i said finally right um not not finally yet um there's just one more one more and that's expectations expectations what are your expectations of the of your partner what do you expect what do you expect to see um, why are you into it why are you partnering what are you trying to achieve i was talking about this when we talk about results remember that i said that um, productivity can be uh, described in three major ways that's uh, Number one is quality, number two is time, and then the last is results. So I'll talk more about expectations when I'm talking about results. But expectation, very important, very important if you are going to capture quality of service. You know, a, your service provider must be able to meet 
and even surpass the expectations that you have. So to, to, to summarize quality, right, we are saying that uh, for quality, if your service provider is going to be able to deliver quality to you, you it, it needs to be convenient. It needs to be convenient. The way you access the service of the service provider, the entire process for bringing them on board needs to be as convenient as possible. One thing I can tell you is, is that in Workforce Group, that's exactly what we do. We are structured to do it that way. We, it's, it's so easy. I'm talking to you today because of the ease with which we provide the service that we offer and communicate the service that we offer, right? So you have convenience if we are the service provider that you choose to do outsourcing for you. We also have reliability, reliability, because we have been in this for 14 years now, um, and we have some of the top organizations in Nigeria, 7,000 staff nationwide. We are represented in all the regions in Nigeria, um, we have seven offices around, around Nigeria. We have office in Kanu, we have in Kaduna, we have in Abuja, we have in Asaba, we have in Port Harcourt, um, we have in uh, Enugu, and we have in, in Ibadan and in Lagos, right? So reliable, we, are, we are available to you, we are reliable, and we can be trusted. And we are also responsive because of our spread and the quality of our service. Our responsiveness is built around a unique um, model we call the client service, client success assurance. And that model is, the, is you can't find it in any other outsourcing firm. It's able to deliver to you responsiveness, real-time responsiveness. We're able to respond to whatever request you have on time. And that makes us very timely in everything we do to you, do for you. And then, of course, we, are, we, we, we give you the assurance, right? not just accolade, we give you assurance. And so because of the wealth of experience, wealth of knowledge, and uh, one thing I, I need to let you know is that Workforce is first an, a consulting firm before an outsourcing firm. And that makes our outsourcing exceptional. We are able to deliver real quality in our outsourcing deliverables to you. Uh, we are also consistent. We are also consistent, very consistent. And so the quality we deliver to you today the quality we were delivering uh, 14 years ago is the same level of quality, only better, that we are delivering today. So we are very consistent. And the quality you will see in Lagos is what you will see in Kanu, is what you will see in, in Kaduna, is what you will see in Enugu and so forth, and um, Port Harcourt and everywhere else and so forth. So we are consistent. Uh, we, 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 are, we are also cautious. Our staff, we, we, we recruit for empathy. We recruit for great attitude. We re uh, recruit for the right kind of people. We see um, outsourcing as uh, uh, as a business, but also as a ministry, right? An opportunity to make a difference in somebody's business. And so um, we are able to give you the consistency, the courtesy that you need to be able to deliver service. I also say that for you to judge quality, you need to also look at how tangible the service is. So what is the package like? How do they look? What is the, the appearance? The way it is, you know, structured, you know, the connection, the, the physical things, the actual structure of the service delivery. We take our time to focus on the way, not just the content of our communication, but the, the packaging, the, con the, the structuring of our communication. We spend enough time to make it right. Uh, if you come to workforce office, you will see what I'm talking about. The brain behind our, our, our services is enormous. It's, it's, it's great, it's crazy, really. It's crazy. Just come to our office and see what I'm talking about. Our zone tech pack, we have uh, a zone tech pack that allows um, our customers access to exceptional technology. People are able to create different applications using our platform and uh, we work with them to develop these technologies, these applications, and then help them to even launch, or uh, as the case may be. And we have a structure that allows you to do some research, some human, some laboratories that you do some human research, human behavior research. We have conference centers and um, training halls where you can do your trainings and so forth. So we take time to package right. So our tangibles are exceptional, right? And that's one of the reasons why I think you should do business with Workforce. 
two other things we are we are um, we, we, we are able to meet the expectations that you have asked of us. We, we are able to meet your expectations. So um, in, in workforce, we don't just deliver service. We sit down with you to understand exactly what you mean, what you need, what your expectations are. And to do that, we have a 5D model we use. And that model says that you, first of all, diagnose. We first diagnose like doctors. We first diagnose what the problem is, what the issues are. Um, why are you outsourcing? What is your, what is driving your your need for outsourcing? We diagnose that, and so that we do that, so that we are not just giving you outsourcing. We are not outsourcing for outsourcing's sake. You are outsourcing because you want to solve some problems. So we diagnose. We sit down with you, know what the challenges are, and then when we have gotten that, we design. We design with you in mind. We design with uh, the outcome of our diagnosis in mind. And we, again, we go back to you and sit down with you with the design that we have come up with to ensure that it fits your need. And then the next thing after that is to develop. We develop the solutions that will meet your needs. And then we deploy, we implement what we have said, um, what we have developed. And lastly, we drive. We drive the solution and make sure that it is consistent. We check for um, a variation between what was designed uh, to um, and what was implemented to make sure that service is delivered. For us, service is not delivered until um, the final consumer says that it has been delivered to him. And that is what you enjoy in the workforce. Uh, I also want to talk about um, what I call inbuilt forgiveness. Inbuilt forgiveness. And that is the fact that in offering services to you, we assume that Sometimes, even when we have agreed on what the standards of delivery or expectations are, sometimes our customers can make mistakes. Yes, people make mistakes. And so we prepare in advance for the possibility that there may be a mistake or there may be something that may be done and maybe it has breached what the agreement is. We prepare in advance for it. And so when those mistakes come, we are able to... Um, solve the problem, we are able to ensure that your business does not suffer because something has happened that was not planned. So we prepare for the unexpected, basically. That's what we mean by building forgiveness into the system. It's like uh, we empathize with our customers and make sure that for what, whatever reason, they do not suffer any form of loss. Okay, um, I said at the beginning that I wanted to talk about um, productivity, how outsourcing helps your productivity, right? So let me just, I, and I talked about quality. I spent most of the time talking about quality because that is the meat of my discussion. And the last two aspects of productivity are um, the time and then the result. And I've also talked about time. And that is something that we do not take for granted in workforce. We ensure that you are able to get the service you need right there on time. We do not, we, we ensure that we capture from you what kinds of timelines are important to you and we are able to deliver for you um, to the time that is needed. We do not deliver, there's no use delivering quality service um, after the time, after the deadline has been missed. For us, your KPI is our KPI. So we take your KPI and then we do a little better and then give you the service so that you can shine in your organization. And then lastly, results. Again, back to your KPI. It's all about result, 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 result. It's all about results. So you are not outsourcing again because you like our face. I know, you're, of course, you can like us, but that's not why you are outsourcing. Uh, you are outsourcing because you want to get results. We make sure you get your results. We keep your results on our board. We write your result on our board and we keep it in focus throughout the entire engagement to make sure that whatever we do, the quality, no matter how fantastic our quality is or the timeline we are trying to achieve it is, we make sure that we do not, our eyes do not come off the board or the score line. We keep the score line in our focus to ensure that you get the result that you want. That's what I wanted to discuss with you today. I hope that you have enjoyed it and I hope that everything I've discussed today has given you reasons to pick up a phone and call Workforce Group today because we will deliver the result you want. Thank you.